The last text I sent him was at two something in the morning before the AAA got a hold of me. Hey, baby, I'm getting worried. Are you okay? 32 year old Glenn Ewing never answered his fiance's text. He was working Sunday night as a tow truck driver for AAA, a job he loved. He was putting a disabled car on the back of his truck on Rapid Run Pike in West Price Hill when he was hit by a car. He died the following evening with Becca Guy by his side. I was telling him that we would be okay mostly. The two had been engaged for a few years and were to be married this October. He was the sole provider, the protector for Becca, five-year-old Miracle and three-year-old Willow, named after Glenn's favorite kind of tree. As I would want her to know him like I knew him. So I'm going to try to keep that memory alive as best as I can. Passing down stories of his goofy personality and big heart. He was caring, loving, kind, generous. She's pleading with drivers to slow down and move over for all emergency vehicles. That's what I really want people to understand is like, at the end of the day, they all have families that they have to come home to. She says Glenn was the kind of dad and husband who can't be replaced, the kind of man who ran towards danger, like last July when he was helping a driver at the banks and heard gunshots. Three teenagers in a car had been shot. He did call 911. He took off his belt and used it as a tourniquet. The victim survived and are part of Glenn's legacy in life and in death through tissue and cornea donation, helping to save lives. It does not surprise me one bit. He would literally give anything and everything that he could to somebody. And that was Jatera Mickey reporting tonight. Now, police don't believe the 20 year old driver who hit Ewing was impaired. It's not yet known if speed maybe was a factor. The family is fundraising for funeral expenses and to support his fiance as well and those two little girls. We have a link to that on our website. Go to WLWT.com.